Okay, that's the end of our quiz. And here are the answers. Please take a look carefully. If you got the correct responses, would check. If you got the incorrect one, write it on a cross so that we can check it out afterwards, okay? Now, let's proceed to the responses. Now, number one, the answer would be letter A. For our explanation, two singular subjects connected by OR require a singular verb. In this sentence, their brother and sister are both singular, so the sentence should use the singular verb IS. Let's proceed to number two. Number two, the correct answer would be letter B. Explanation. When a singular subject and a plural subject are connected by neither or nor, or either or or, the verb agrees with the subject nearest to it. In the sentence above, the plural verb is used because it is, it is nearer to the plural subject friends. That would be the explanation for question number two. Question number three, the answer would be letter A. In general phrases such as together with, along with, as well as, should be ignored when considering the verb of the sentence. The verb should always agree with the subject. In this sentence, Arman is the, su is the singular subject, so the singular verb is, is used. That would be the explanation for question number three. The answer is letter A. Let's proceed to question number four. Question number four, the answer would be letter A. Jim and Mike is a plural subject, so the plural verb R is used. Okay, that would be the explanation for question number four. Now, question number five, the answer would be letter B. Explanation, the pronouns each, anyone, anybody, everyone, everyone, everybody are singular and require singular verbs. In the sentence, each is so is singular, so the singular verb place must be used. That will be the explanation for question number five. Question number six, the answer would be letter A. Sentences that use either or neither always require singular verb. Sentences that use either or neither without or always require singular verb. That would be the explanation for question number 6 with the answer of letter A. Now, let's proceed to question number 7. The answer would be letter A. For explanation, periods of time take singular verb. I repeat, periods of time take singular verb as a general rule when it comes on time. Number 8, the answer would be letter A. Explanation, amount of money takes singular verb. Take note of that. Amount of money takes singular verb. Let's proceed to question number nine. The answer would be letter A. The verb used in words that indicate portions such as percent, fraction, part, all, some, and etc. depends on the noun in the of phrase. In the sentence above, the cake in of the cake phrase is singular. Therefore, the singular verb has should be used. That will be the explanation for question number 9 with the answer of letter A. Number 10. The answer would be letter A. Same explanation with number 5. Balik na lang kayo sa number 5 for the explanation for question number 10. Okay. Number 11, the answer would be letter B. Same explanation with number 9. Pwede po tayong bumalik on question number 9 para malaman natin yung explanation niya. Same as with question number 11. Number 12, the answer would be letter A. The pronouns who, which, and that which is the subject of the verb in the middle of the sentence be become singular or plural according to the noun directly in front of them. In the sentence above, the noun in front of who is men, which is plural. So the plural verb do must be used. That would be the explanation for question number 12 with the answer of letter A. Again, you can pause the video so that you can take down notes or you can take a photo or s screenshot of the explanation. Question number 13, the answer would be letter A. 
For our explanation, collective nouns such as team and staff may either be singular or plural depending on their use in the sentence. In the sentence above, the team acts as a unit and therefore requires a singular verb. That would be the explanation for question number 13 with the answer of letter A. Number 14, the answer would be letter B. Okay. For the explanation, unlike in number 13, the committee in this sentence act as individuals and not as a unit. Act as individuals as and not as a unit. That will be for question number 14 with the answer of letter B. Let's proceed to number 15. The correct answer for 15 would be letter A, C number 3 for explanation. They have the same explanation only, same reason. Okay. Now, what is your score? You can write down on the comment section below para makita natin who got the perfect score and mabigyan natin siya ng virtual clap. For those who got a failing score below 10, I guess, you can now you can still practice. You can read a lot of textbooks referring to subject verb agreement. You can take down notes with your incorrect responses so that you can check them out. And you can try another type of examinations that you can see on internet. You can download from online resources or you can join any Facebook group that accommodates uh, trainees or review takers for our or uh, for the similar examination. Okay, that will be all for today. Please stay tuned. Click the notification bell para lagi kayong updated on the following reviews and lessons na pwede nating ibigay. That will be all for today. God bless us all.